Okay, well, hey guys. Um, you won't believe what time it is. It's um, almost six in the morning on Friday or Saturday morning. Excuse me. Um, I just woke up from this this really vivid dream that I was so afraid I'll forget it. So that's why I decided to record it right when I woke up. So here's what happened in the dream. Just a little bit of background. I've really been wanting to talk to Cecilia Brady all the while because she has this amazing singing voice that I just, her vibrato is just amazing. And if I, I'm pretty sure that if Cecilia hears about this dream, she might be convinced to do what she did in this dream. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. So for some reason, I was practicing my bagpipes, okay? So, like, my nail pipes, which I really, 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 really want to get sold. And I do remember the exact setup for some reason. <laughs> they were all had Kinner drone reeds in them. Anyway, so I was in... I was practicing them in the living room of the second house that I've ever lived in. Which seems really strange. And it was so funny because a short walk from there was the dining hall or the cafeteria at Alma. <laughs> Saga, it's called. And so I walked into Saga with my pipes on my shoulder. And quick digression, there, there are people there in real life, there are people there at Saga that go through the lines and tell us what there is, and, you know, good, which is good because, you know, being blind, obviously, you know, it's hard to get the food. So, you know, there are people that, like, like, hey, how you doing? And, you know, they, um, usually, um, usually they, um, work in the dining room, which, you know, I don't know what they do, actually, but they also, um, because we're blind, you know, they know that we need help, so they help us, which is really nice. Anyway, so, one of the servers appears, and I'm like, hey, excuse me, I haven't gotten swiped in yet, and she's like, oh, okay, what are these on your shoulder? I'm like, they're my bagpipes, but I don't like them anymore because they have one of the worst sound, worst tonal qualities I've ever had. And she's like, oh, what are you going to do with them then? I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm going to burn them or something. And she's like, okay, well, I'm going to, we've got a nice hot fire here. I'm going to burn them now. And I'm like, oh, cool. Cause, and then I explained the bores. I think they're based on like 1930 something Hendersons, which are not as good as 1924 Hendersons. And the new pipes I'm gonna get are a reproduction of a 1924 Henderson. And you know, the 1930 something Henderson sounds like, you know, the chords A, the notes A, C sharp, E, and G, which don't sound as good as A, E, A, E, A, E, A, E. You know, like low A, low E, and then middle A, middle E. Um, the thing is, um, the um, with the G and the C sharp in the way, you know, it gets dissonant, and you know, in the way of the tunes in the key of D. Anyway, so she's like, "Okay, I'll burn them." Or actually, no, she she just set them down, and the person who was swiping me in said. Hey, at f at 10 to 6, why don't you strike him up and play Debbie Deb? There was a tune called Debbie Deb. I don't know why. <laughs> um, And then so what she did was she just sat me down without even telling me what there was, which is kind of cruel because how else will she know what I want? Because, like, in real life, you know, they go through the lines and tell me, like, you know, we have cheese pizza, we have pepperoni pizza, we have this, we have that, whatever it is. And, um, you know, they tell me what there is, because what if, what if the case arises that it has cheese, and I'm not a big cheese person. So, like, she just sat me down and just got the food at, 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 at on her whim, which I think is cruel. I was waiting for my food. All of a sudden, I heard this guy say, See you later, sassy dog. And Cecilia's unfortunately cruel nickname is Sessie. 
So this guy was sitting by her, and on a random whim, she decided to sit with me. And I heard, I heard, I heard a voice that sounded like Cecilia. I'm like, hey. And recently in the past, I've been hearing voices that sound like Cecilia to me. And I tried to guess the voice. I'm like, hey, is that Cecilia? And I'm, I'm never right. Anyway, in this dream, I'm like, hey, is that Cecilia that I hear, like, um, within close proximity to me, like, in front of me, behind me, to my right? She's like, yeah, it's Cecilia. Do you want me to sit with you? I'm like, by all means. And so what happened was she sat right next to me on my right, and I told her how it's going. And I told her the f what I've been emailing her, the fact that I just know there's going to be a singer in my big collection of good voices with good vibratos, which Cecilia has, again. I know there's going to be a collection of good singers with good vibrato that I know that I know she's going to like. But the problem is, how am I going to talk to her when her Alma email is expired? And so, she's like, hey, yeah, why don't, why don't I add my number to your phone? I'm like, yeah, but I am afraid that it might be the wrong number because when I asked Brie Yarrow to do it, she told me the number and I texted it and uh, they said, oh, wrong number. She's like, no, don't worry, it's going to be the right number. And so I opened the contacts app on my phone and then I turned voiceover off. As many of you don't know, the only way for blind people to use the iPhone is, is called voiceover. So it basically, um, you know, you can, it basically verbalizes everything. Um, I'd rather show you at the end when I'm done with this dream. Anyway, um, so I turned voiceover, I opened context, I turned voiceover off. And um, she's like, do you need me to add, you know, do you need me to create a new one called Cecilia? I'm like, no, you'll find it. All of a sudden I heard voice, for some reason, again, this is a dream, but all of a sudden I heard voice over, Cecilia. I'm like, yep. And she's like, yep, I know, I know. And then she was whispering the number to her as she was typing it. Like, I, I heard this, I mean, I don't remember, I have no idea what her number is in real life, but I'd like her to add it. Anyway, so she was whispering her number as she was adding it. She's like, okay, how about you send me a text so that we know it's me? Like, so it's, so it's got, make sure we got the right number. And so, I went to the messages, and that morning I sent Brianna Costigan a clip of Laura Breton singing O Mio Bobino Cato, which was one of the most common operatic pieces um, and so what I did was I sent that to Cecilia all of a sudden I heard from coming from her phone I heard this like a bongo kind of sound and I'm like oh cool it got sent to you and then she started playing it I'm like you know she's only 13 but she has the best singing but listen to her voice she's like I know but you know who an even better voice is? Amira Willikagen. A Dutch girl. She's 11. Or 12 or 11. I can't remember. I'm like, yeah, she's in my collection. She's like, I dare you she's got to be in your collection. Her vibrato is really good. I mean, it's just like Laura Breton. I'm like, I mean, duh. I'm like, what song do you have in your collection? In your collection, um, I think it's a variation on uh, Ave Maria or something. And she's like, yeah, I mean, I've got that one too. So maybe she did have the collection. <laughs> but you know, in in real life, I really want her to get the collection. I really want her to. You know, it's easy to send audio files to through a text, and so. I have no idea when the next time I'm going to see her is. Maybe I'll ask the servers to sit me with her. Don't worry, I'll never call her Sassy Dog, which the other guy called her. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go through the exact same process as we did in the dream. 
Because I know that Cecilia really wants to. I just know that Cecilia is really going to like all these singers that are in my big collection. And, like, how else am I going to reach her when her all my emails expired? So, you know, I really want her to. I really want to get in touch with her. And I've been emailing her every day, and she still hasn't said anything. Well, the thing about her is that she never responds to emails. So I think that's part of the problem. But... I'm pretty sure if I send this description of the dream to Cecilia, I think she's going to understand, she's going to finally get convinced, like, oh, I gotta get in touch with Michael here. And yes, I'm going to upload this to YouTube so that people understand, you know, how I really feel about Cecilia. Now, I, I will clarify that Cecilia already has a boyfriend, which I wish weren't the case because if, if she didn't have a boyfriend I'd ask her to be my girlfriend just because of her awesome vibrato like I swear there's nobody I've yet to hear somebody on campus that has just an angel as just just as an um that has as that has just as an just an angelic vibrato as Cecilia Brady has I yet to hear somebody on campus that has just <laughs> Just as good of a vibrato as that. Anyway, um, so, anyway, I'm going to show you voiceover. So, um, again, it's like 6 in the morning because I just woke up from that dream. I decided to wake up from it so I could, um, so I didn't forget it, which is what I often do. You know, once you wake up from a dream, you know, it's, you don't want to forget it. So you want to write it down or talk about it. So, um, I'm going to show you voiceover. So, here's, I'll show you the exact steps that I did in the dream. So, you, almost 6.30, so you swipe to the right, and then you double tap anywhere on the surface, and then now you're on the home screen. Go s swipe to the right until you get the page. There. And then you touch the top of the screen for a shortcut. Extras, so double tap on that. And then double tap that. Contacts. Grooves. Button. Contacts. So I'm swiping to the right again. Add. Oops, Button. my bad. Surge. Table index. Now you Adjustable. swipe down to get to the C. B. C. Select. And then swipe to the right from there. Mikey C. Mickey C. Camillo. Brian Teich Coffin. Cecilia. There we go. Cecilia. And then I opened in the dream. I'm not going to do this because I don't know. I don't know her number in real life, but. I, s I double tapped on that, and then what I did was I turned voiceover off. So, uh. Press the home button three times quickly. Voiceover off. Yep, and voiceover turns off. So, turn voiceover back on, you do the same thing. Voiceover on. Contacts. Grooves. Button. I'm gonna close contacts because there's no use to keep it open. So I'm gonna press the home button twice quickly. App switcher. Contact. Close contact. Swipe down and then it'll say close and then you double tap. Extras. Oops. Extras. Compass. And then you press the home. FaceTime. Press home again. Messages. And then you press the lock button. Screen locked. So that's essentially how you use voiceover. I wanted to make sure I get to that before I stop recording here. So, you know, I really want Cecilia to hear about this dream. Um, what I think I might do is um, post a link to it on Facebook because quite a lot, quite a lot of my friends on Facebook know Cecilia pretty, pretty well from being in choir. Um, and um, in the dr in the description of this video, I'm going to include a link to the recording I've uploaded to YouTube.
what the one and only recording I have of Cecilia Brady singing, so you can hear just how angelic her voice is. And I I swear I'd like to get another recording of Cecilia Brady before she leaves campus because why does she want to hide her angelic vibrato from other people? It's like, come on, Cecilia, I'm not going to ruin it. You think I am, but I'm not going to, you know, abuse your voice or anything. You know, she's so afraid. She's like, I don't want you to upload to YouTube. Well, I don't care. Your vibrato is amazing. So, you know, that was essentially my epic dream about Cecilia. Um, I still haven't gotten my reproduction into my Far Henderson's yet, but I will tell you the truth that one of my friends, um, a friend of a friend, it's funny, <laughs> wants my nail pipes. Um, my friend Duncan, who's learning the pipes, his, uh, one of his, uh, close friends learning to play the pipes and um he wants them so i'm pretty glad this is going to happen you know like yeah i can sell my nail pipes that way i can get the pendersons um so you know this essentially you know that's happening in real life like it did in the dream where you know my pipes they've been taken away by one of the servers at saga But who knows when I'll come across Cecilia. I really want to come across Cecilia. I really want to talk to her. and really want to... Anyway, so... I think that's where I'll stop. And um, I'll upload this to YouTube as well as... Um, put the... Um, the link in the description. I'll put the link to the video of Cecilia. I'll put that in the description. The one and only recording I have of Cecilia singing. I'll put the link of that in the description so you can so you, so you you know so you don't have to go hunting for it. And so you'd realize, "Ah, Cecilia is really good." And again, you know, I really want to get another recording of her before she leaves campus because again, you know, Cecilia's voice is just amazing. Sure, again, let me clarify, it's not as good as Laura Breton on America's Got Talent, which was actually the clip that I texted to Cecilia in the dream. But, it is pretty good, you know, it is up there. You know, if, if, if Laura Breton were grade one in piping, Cecilia would probably be grade two, grade three, like on the edge of grade two and three. So, so she'd be pretty good. Me, you know, in piping, I'm grade two. I feel like I belong in grade three, but they put me in grade two. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of competitions since a couple summers ago, but I never, you know, kept the recording. Because again, again, my laptop fried, so I don't have those recordings. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop the recorder. And who knows when who knows when I'll upload this recording to YouTube, but I'm gonna I'm gonna upload to YouTube nonetheless and I'm going to send Cecilia a link to that unless I see her at the cafeteria. You know, I'll probably ask the servers to sit me with Cecilia if she's here, if she's there when I show up. Um so, again, I hope you found that dream really interesting, and uh, see you later.